What if I told you that there is an audio player out there for your computer that allows you to pull down content from services like YouTube, SoundCloud, and many others, and allows you to listen to this audio for free without the need to be subjected to ads and tracking and profiling and all of that nastiness that's associated with those particular services. You just listen to your audio right here in this desktop music player, essentially. And this desktop music player, by the way, is cross-platform. It works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And what if I also told you that this audio player is licensed under a free and open source license? Would you be interested? I think you would. And that's what I'm talking about today is an audio player called Nuclear. So let me go ahead and show you the application here so let me go ahead and launch nuclear and it'll take a second to launch now one thing you'll notice about nuclear is it does have a, a a nice look and feel it's very attractive right it's it's got this fancy almost web app look to it and that's because of course we're dealing with an electron app here now i know a lot of people really dislike electron apps but in this case i think it makes sense because nuclear is really just a front end to various web services like youtube right so it makes sense for this thing to be built in electron where i have a problem with electron is when people build things out of electron that make no sense like text editors why does vs code need to be an electron app right why does atom need to be an electron app those make no sense but in this case it makes perfect sense so before getting started here let me uh, move the player over and adjust the size so you can see some of the controls here because my head was in the way of the volume control but i'm going to go into settings and these are really default settings. I haven't played with anything here. So at the top here, we have some social media account stuff here where we can connect some accounts to nuclear. For example, I could connect my Mastodon account where when I'm listening to a song, I decide to search for a song, play a song or whatever. It'll automatically post to my Mastodon account. Hey, Derek is listening to xyz song right now some of the other settings that are available include playback settings for example loop after playing the last queued item means if i have a playlist it gets to the last song in the playlist it plays it and then it loops back to the very first song in the playlist you have some shuffling options as well i've left everything as defaults for now uh, there are two other settings toward the bottom that you may want to play with there is the streaming instance which by default uses nvidias and then there is a download directory and it has a downloads directory setting because you actually do have the ability to download the audio tracks you're listening to locally to your machine so uh, most people probably will just want to stream music here inside nuclear but if you want to you can actually just rip the song again download it to your downloads directory by default but you can choose another directory to download your music to and of course this really makes invidious a rather naughty application, right? Because it really circumvents a lot of terms of service, right? Because, you know, YouTube and all these uh, audio streaming services, they don't want a piece of software like Nuclear to circumvent all their advertising, for, for example, right? Because if you're using Nuclear, they can't serve you ads. They can't make money off of you, right? They also can't force you to have an account. They can't profile you. They can't track you. And the music industry really wouldn't like Nuclear because it has the ability to download audio locally to your machine. So Nuclear is a really kind of a shady area, right? It's kind of gray. In fact, if you go to the nuclear website at nuclear.js.org, I didn't show you their website because it has a lot of curse words on it. There's a testimonial section where they find people that really have a problem with nuclear for example, people in the music industry that hate the fact that nuclear exists and they're cursing about nuclear and dropping F-bombs, they have all of that on their homepage because they're proud of that. They are free software zealots, the people behind nuclear, right? They really don't like these proprietary web streaming services, audio streaming services. They really don't like the music industry as a whole, the whole DRM system and all of that, right? These people are very pro free software and that's why they've created nuclear. So let me show you some of the basics of using nuclear. So I'm going to search for a band. I'm going to search for journey. Now, if I want to, I can filter the search results down by album, artist, or track, or I could just do a search without filtering and it's going to return artists, albums, 
and tracks. Now I'm going to go back to artist and I'm going to click on that artist. And I really like this song, so I'm going to click on this song here. And a pop up window comes up. Add to queue, which means it's going to add it to our queue list over here. Play now, which means it's going to add it to the queue and start it playing. Add to favorites, because you have a favorites list. Add to playlist or download, which is just download the file locally to your machine. I'm going to choose add to queue because I think most people are probably just going to queue up a bunch of songs here in a playlist and just stream it right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to click the play button here because I didn't tell it to play now. I just queued it. But if I play now, it's actually going to start the song playing. I'm going to have to mute the sound because it, there's going to be copyright issues. But it is playing. You guys are not going to hear the audio, but it's playing just fine because I can see the, the track moving down here. Now you notice under the song that I queued up, Don't Stop Believing by Journey, under it, Africa by Toto is uh, listed. Now, why is that? It's because by default there is a setting, a really nice setting actually, called Auto Radio. It's ticked on by default. You can turn it off if you don't like it, but I like it. What this does, it essentially turns nuclear into kind of a, a Pandora-like experience, a streaming service, because you pick a song to add to the queue, it plays it, and then it turns it into like an auto-play situation where it goes and finds similar songs. Not necessarily by the same artist, but you know, similar genres, because I'm listening to what? Some 80s rock here, you know, it's going to go find other 80s songs, popular 80s tunes. And, and you know, once Don't Stop Believing by Journey finishes playing, you know, it'll go to Africa by Toto. And once that song finishes playing, you know, it's going to queue up some more songs, which in this case are by the, the same artist, Rosanna by Toto. But let's say it gets to the end of that, you know, then it's going to play Every Breath You Take by The Police, etc. That way you don't have to go and necessarily create a cue list you just play one song from you know your favorite band favorite genre whatever and you have the auto radio turned on and essentially it becomes again a very pandora like experience now how does the uh, downloads function work well you would right click something here in the queue for example and i could click download and then I go to the downloads section here in this menu and it is waiting for download it's only at 0%, so it hasn't started downloading. I can go ahead and tell you it's never going to start downloading because this is the Flatpak version of Nuclear. And the Flatpak version of Nuclear works pretty flawlessly except for the downloads. For some reason, the downloads for the Flatpak just hangs. It, it's stuck. You can queue up a whole bunch of stuff to download. It's, it's never going to progress beyond 0%. So I'm actually going to close this out. So uh, I found the Flatpak version works the best, but there are other versions. There's the app image version and there's your uh, native version that you got from your repos. I'm actually going to launch the native version here on Arch. Now, the, the reason I didn't use the native version previously in the video or the app image version, they both work the same, is because the downloads function in these versions works flawlessly, but actually queuing up songs and, and playing a piece of music does not work that well. I mean, it works, but it is, it's is—it's got a, a minor bug. For example, say I queue up the same Journey song to play here. So I'm going to click on it, add to queue. I'm going to get an error, right? A JavaScript error. This error, I have checked their GitHub for issues. People know about it. It's some error regarding Impress, the uh, Impress APIs. But you just click OK, and it will actually get past the error. Let me hit play, because that was just queuing up that threw up the error. But then I can hit play, and it's going to play the song just fine. So you do get error messages occasionally, but you just hit OK for that JavaScript error. No big deal. But at least in the app image and the native package in Arch, when I right click on something and click download, and then go to downloads, just wait a second. You know, it's now actually downloading. You see 30%, 38%. Let me cancel that. So neither the app image or the flat pack are perfect. Both of them have minor errors, not the same error. So what I would suggest if you care about downloading music, right? If that's the main thing you want to do with nuclear is actually rip songs and, and store them locally, use the app image. If you're not going to be downloading music, you're really just streaming music, right? That, that's all you're interested in. Uh, then I would use the flat pack because at least it won't have that annoying JavaScript error that the app image will have. Now, the errors that I showed you today, the JavaScript error in the app image and also uh, the uh, downloads error where it's just stuck at 
at 0% in the flat pack. The people behind nuclear, they know that these issues exist and I'm sure they're, they're working on them and they're going to get these fixed in a future release. So that's just a little bit of what you can do with the nuclear player. Again, free and open source software, cross-platform, available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of the show. Devin, Gabe, James, Matt, Michael, Mitchell, Paul, Scott, Wes, Allen, Chuck, Commander, Angry, Diokai, Dylan, George, Lee, Linux Ninja, Maxim, Mike, Erjan, Alexander, Peace, Arch, and Fedora, Polytech, Red, Prophet, Steven, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode about nuclear would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. It's just me and you guys, the community. Do you like my work? You, you want to see more great videos about Linux and free and open source software? Please help support me. Subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. Just a small town girl living in a lonely world.